Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you are doing good. I am happy to share that this is the 100th video from the Anur Krishna channel. Thanks for your support. And today we are going to discuss about how to log security events in Pega with live example and how to check those logs as well in Pega. There are very smart people who are not subscribing and watching my content. Please do subscribe this channel. So let's get started with the topic. So we know that in Pega we are having different kinds of logs. How do you see that? Configure system operations logs. So here you can see log files, and you can see there are different types of log files like Pega rules, alert logs, Bix logs, data flow logs, and security event logs. So when you execute something related to data flow log, you can see that data flow logs are uh, captured over here. And if there are any alerts in your Pega application uh, rule wise and all, you can see alert logs over here. And if you see any uh, Bix uh, things, we can see Bix logs over here. And here there is something called a security event logs. Suppose if you click this, you can see different kinds of uh, logs already captured over here regarding security logs. So I got a question from one of our subscriber like how we can configure this particular uh, security event logs and what is this and what are the different types of security events we can log. So in Pega you have to go to configure organization security tools security and security event configuration. Just I am pausing here so that uh, you will remember this path. In this you can see this is the landing page and you can see different type of events that can be captured those say authentication events data access event security system administration event and over 200 events so let's take a step backward and see what is event configuration the security event configuration is a feature that is part of security information management and say event management. So we have two things SIM and SEM. One is security information management and second one is security event management. So we are combining both that is security event configuration that is used to configure the logging of security events so that we can diagnose the system issues and demonstrate compliance to the auditors. And these particular events includes actions performed by which requester and who has the access for this application or who has done the data access. Suppose there is a dynamic system settings and uh, if someone did the changes, we can capture that. And suppose uh, we are having a issue with an operator ID and it is having some invalid credentials like that. So that also we can see in the security event logs. And uh, we have a production system and someone has uh, raised uh, uh, or someone has uh, executed some query or someone has ran and report definition those also we can trace in this security event configuration logs so this log actually consists of different lines right so each line consists of like who has access that and all so you can see the information like date and time application time node ip address operator id event class event type and these authorization events also you can see like what is the report name class filter condition and everything suppose you are having uh, a particular activity and you want to uh, capture that uh, customatically because that is not there in the categories that are provided by Pega in our landing page then that is nothing but custom event so for custom event to capture we have to use this particular java step in your activity so in an activity where you want to see that particular event go to your java where sorry go to your activity and add a java step and in the java step if you give this particular java code and save the activity so whenever that particular functionality is uh, executed you can see that particular custom event in your security event log so if you see here suppose uh, you want to capture like what are the successful logins and what are the successful logouts suppose there are any pre-authentication validation suppose you are having integration service or integration um, 
or some other service integration then uh, the end user has told like uh, some authentication errors are there so instead of going to the log files and uh, checking because it will capture all the pega rules so just if you give this and you save this and if there are any pre-authentication validation for authentication of service mapping you can see this and if you if you are doubting that someone is executing some data or related queries or uh, they are doing some changes to the report definition builders and you want to catch those changes those you can uh, give this particular checkbox checked and you can capture that and this is system administration it says that administration administration is nothing but our organization security like a back policies our back policies or some access group settings or some work basket role settings or uh, if you are disabling or enabling some operators so all those things you can see here here this is OAuth uh, this is one of the authentication type we have so OAuth, OAuth authentication also you can do this and as I have said for custom events we have to give one java code so even though if you give java code and if you switch it off it won't uh, trace that uh, custom event so you have to make this on every time and you click submit then you can see that security event configuration settings has updated successfully and if you want to clear this particular uh, category for now you can go and click on this clear uh, all authentication such that uh, all the authentications will be cleared okay and if you want to select all you can just give select all you can see these two are selected and if you want to give clear you should have clear system administration events uh, role then you can clear these uh, events otherwise you just uncheck this and check this in that way also you can uh, play around these particular categories and you can see the logs also like after the changes how it is behaving also hope you have learned a new concept and i will be providing a link where you can explore more about this security event configuration if you did not understand my explanation over here and uh, if you have already used the security event configuration please feel free to share your knowledge through comments box in this video thanks for watching this video please click on bell icon so you can't uh, miss any one of the video from this channel Please share, comment and like and give your suggestions in the comments of the video.